Hi everyone, this is Cassie and these are the weekly tarot horoscopes for the week of September 18 to September 24. If you are new here, we dive deep into the world of tarot, magic and everything mystical. So go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. We've got weekly insights and the card of the day every single day, so there's always something fresh for you. I absolutely love connecting with you all in the comment section, so don't be shy, let me know how your week went or just drop by and say hi. Curious about last week's predictions? Just click the link right up here in the corner to find out. For a more personal touch, make sure to visit my website www.kasikai.com. We've got a ton of free content and even guides to help you start reading tarot cards for yourself. Stick around because next week we are diving into love predictions for this autumn and you don't want to miss it. But let's see how this week will go. For Aries we had the King of Cups and now it's the Four of Swords. In the previous week the King of Cups brought an aura of emotional maturity, deep understanding in your life, in your personal relationships. Perhaps you encountered someone embodying these qualities, someone who is a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio or a Cancer. Uh, this card often signifies uh, a person who is in control of their emotions, able to offer support and guidance to others and is generally well liked and respected for their emotional intelligence. So it might have been a time of emotional stability and uh, balanced interactions. The Four of Swords shows a week of rest, recuperation, contemplation, so this will probably be a slow week. You will feel it's a good time to uh, take a break from the hustle and bustle of everyday life to recharge and reflect. The King of Cups' influence from the previous week may have allowed you to approach uh, situations or relationships with a calm and empathetic demeanor, but now the Four of Swords indicates the importance of self-care, so make sure you take a good care of yourself this week. In your career, you will uh, take a step back from work-related stress and business. It may be a time for a, br a brief break or a vacation if it's possible. The King of Cups' emotional maturity will help you communicate effectively about the need for rest if you have to. Use this time to recharge and reflect on your career goals and direction. But don't make decisions yet, this will be a slow week, like I said, reflect, observe and let um, decisions for later. In your love life, the Four of Swords suggests a period of introspection, it may be a good time to take a break from any relationship conflicts or stresses and um, you may feel that you need to give yourself the emotional space you need to find clarity and balance or your partner may need some space this week. If you want to know how someone feels, they do feel the need for some emotional distance or a temporary break and that could be either because uh, there are other things in their life going on or because emotionally they feel overloaded. So uh, this could be due to feeling emotionally drained or needing time to reflect on the relationship's direction. Thursday, a day traditionally associated with Jupiter, holds a strong energetic influence in your upcoming week. It's an ideal day for taking rest, um, reflect, reflection and uh, seeking wisdom and guidance and also for expansion and learning. For Taurus, we had the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Wands this week, two fire cards. In the previous week, the Knight of Wands brought an energy of uh, fast-paced action, enthusiasm and a desire for adventure into your life. It might have been a time when you felt driven to pursue your goals with passion and also to take risks. As you step into the upcoming week, the Ten of Wands represents a period where you may feel burdened by responsibilities, obligations or excessive demands from other people. 
You may feel as if you are carrying a heavy load on your shoulders and the enthusiasm of the Knight of Wands from the previous week might have led to taking on more that you can comfortably handle. So you, so this week you may feel a little burdened. The Ten of Wands is associated with Saturn in Sagittarius and suggests a need for discipline and structure to manage those pressures because Saturn represents discipline, structure, order. So it's essential to address these challenges with determination and efficiency. In your career, this card uh, warns against overextending yourself or taking too many tasks that uh, will be very demanding. You will have the tendency to do that. To do that. It's possible that work-related demands or responsibilities may feel overwhelming this week. However, with careful planning and, planning and a structured approach, you can manage these challenges and achieve your goals. Seek support and delegate tasks when necessary. In matters of the heart, the Ten of Wands suggests that there might be uh, too many demands in your personal life or you or your partner may be feeling overwhelmed or burdened by external, external pressures also, which can strain the relationship. And by external pressures, I mean other people who are making demands on you, either in your personal life or in your professional life. If you want to know how someone feels, they feel overwhelmed by either their own emotions or again by outside pressures by other people who are pressuring, pressuring them, which could impact their ability to fully engage emotionally at this stage. It may indicate that they have too much on their plate and might need support or understanding. The strong day of this week will be Saturday, traditionally associated with Saturn, which uh, holds a strong energetic influence in your upcoming week. For Gemini, we had the Four of Cups and now it's the King of Wands. The Four of Cups in the previous week shows that you might have experienced a sense of uh, introspection, a slowdown, contemplation, all those things are symbolized by the Four of Cups. It's possible that you were reflecting on your current circumstances, and considering your emotional needs and desires and whether those needs and desires are fulfilled. Energies were slow, but now with the King of Wands, the vibe is changing. You will find yourself taking charge of situations with confidence and enthusiasm. This is a week when your natural, natural leadership abilities will shine and you will be driven to achieve your goals. Events that occurred between 12 July and 11 August may have laid the foundation for this dynamic phase. In your career, the King of Wands shows a time of assertive action and successful leadership, especially if you hold a position of power in your work. Your ambitious and enterprising spirit will likely lead to significant achievements this week and uh, you may get a leadership role. This is an excellent time for taking charge of projects and making things happen efficiently. In your love life, the King of Wands suggests a passionate and confident approach to romantic relationships. So if you are in a relationship, you may take the lead in planning exciting adventures or activities with your partner. Don't forget, uh, Wands are all about action, enthusiasm, um, movement. So it's possible that you will uh, want to participate in activities this week. If you are single, you will have a magnetic charisma, a magnetic aura this week that will draw a romantic interest in your way. This person may be a fire sign or a fire ascendant, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. And generally interactions with such individuals may be particularly significant during this time. When it comes to someone's feelings in a romantic context, the King of Wands indicates that someone feels strongly attracted to you, strongly connected to you. They also admire your confidence, your passion and the ability to take charge of situations. Now, what this could mean is that you 
take initiative more than they do and uh, they like that or it's uh, convenient for them. So uh, you may want to explore whether that's okay with you or not. And this energy will be with you for a couple of weeks. So in uh, that time frame, you will be able to figure out some things about this connection. For Cancer, we had the Six of Swords and now it's the Chariot. In the previous week, you may have experienced a sense of transition, uh, but also improvement because that's what the Six of Swords indicates. It's likely that you successfully navigated a challenging transition, moving away from stress or from uh, difficult circumstances. The chariot this week shows a time of contrasts, so there might be some differences between you and another person, but also discipline and a determined focus on your goals. You will somehow have to balance opposing forces and maybe also opposing emotions. You may find yourself in situations where you must exercise self-control, determination to achieve your objectives. The, um, so if you felt that lately your feelings were a bit uh, too overwhelming or things were out of control, that's going to change this week. Also travel and journeys, especially to foreign countries, might be a significant theme of this week. The chariot is associated with the zodiac sign of Cancer and uh, the time period that Cancer represents between end of June, uh, mid-July, when you might have experienced something significant that will be related to the developments of this week. In your career, there might be some challenges, but you will overcome them with discipline and determination again. You may encounter contrasting forces in your professional life, people with different opinions, different agendas, that require you to stay focused on your own objectives. Also, travel for work or taking on leadership roles may be prominent. And generally, the chariot's energy encourages you to maintain a strong sense of direction because that's the ultimate goal of the chariot, to reach uh, its direction. In love, the chariot energy uh, suggests that your romantic relationships may involve some differences or disagreements. You and your partner may have different desires at this stage, different plans, goals that require negotiation and balance. If you are single, you might be attracted to someone who is guarded and they are not opening up easily. You may even find that a challenge for you, and but be careful because you may get emotionally attached to that person. If you want to know how someone feels about you, they feel there are some contrasts, differences or even incompatibilities that need to be addressed. While for some of you, it could mean that the physical that physical distance is affecting some how someone feels about you especially if, if that person is in a different country saturday holds a strong energetic influence in your upcoming week and it's an ideal day to focus on your goals and maintain a sense of balance for leo we had the four of wands and now it's the high priestess in the previous week, you might have experienced a sense of celebration, stability, harmony, all those things symbolized by the Four of Wands. It could have been a, a time of coming together with loved ones and enjoying a significant accomplishment. This week, the High Priestess represents a week of mystery, secrets, hidden aspects in your life. You may find yourself drawn to seeking deeper knowledge or understanding of uh, hidden matters. Also, you may learn a secret this week or you may share a secret with someone. Now, be a little careful because uh, uh, this person may not be trustworthy. The High Priestess is associated with the Moon, which signifies the exploration of subconscious realms, intuition, dreams. Also, passivity and observation will be the key themes during this week. 
In your career, pay attention to subtle, subtle cues and hidden information in your professional life. There might be secrets or hidden agendas at play in your work environment, and your intuition could be a valuable tool for uncovering them. So, if you feel that something is off, it probably is. This is a time to trust your instincts and be patient as you navigate the hidden realms of your career. In matters of the heart, the high priestess uh, suggests a need for deeper understanding in your personal relationships, in your romantic relationships. So there may be hidden emotions or unspoken desires with you, within your, your partner. And this card encourages you to explore those hidden aspects with sensitivity and intuition. For singles, uh, this period might involve encounters with mysterious or enigmatic individuals. Needless to say that um, you should uh, always give a relationship time to show its potential and for someone to show their true colors. So don't uh, invest too much too soon. If you want to know how someone feels, they may be holding back or they may have hidden emotions. Also, they might be drawn to the mysterious and intuitive side of your personality. So there could be a sense of intrigue and desire to explore this connection deeper. The strong days of this week are Monday and Tuesday. These days are ideal for delving into hidden knowledge, trusting your intuition and exploring the mysteries of life. For Virgo, we had the Ace of Swords and now the Page of Pentacles. In the previous week, you may have experienced a surge of mental clarity, fresh insights, new ideas. It might have been a time of clear communication also, new ideas, mental breakthroughs. The Page of Pentacles this week uh, shows a week of learning, of uh, communication, but also practicality because Pentacles are um, material, are practical. You may find yourself focused on gaining new knowledge or education, whether through formal means or personal exploration. These days it's easy to go on the internet and learn anything you want. This could also relate to getting to know someone better, particularly an individual with earth sign qualities, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. In your career this week, your thinking will be practical and methodical and there will be a strong willingness to learn. All of these resonate with you because you are an earth sign and this energy is very familiar to you. So this week you will, you will feel really great. Uh, you may be open to new ideas, new approaches in your professional life. An opportunity may arise to make more money or to get a new role. You may decide to learn something new, to do some training. It's an excellent period for educational pursuits or taking on tasks that require attention to detail. In Matters of the Heart, the Page of Pentacles encourages you uh, to have a practical and down-to-earth approach to love, which is, uh, like I said, not a problem to you because it's your nature to be practical and down-to-earth. If you are in a relationship, you will be focused on nurturing your connection, deepening your understanding, but also on practical plans um, for the future. You may have uh, talks about how you share your time, your money, things like that. For singles, this could indicate a potential for a new romantic interest who embodies earth sign qualities. When it comes to someone's feelings, the Page of Pentacles suggests that they may see you as someone practical, grounded, and they are willing to invest time and effort in their relationship. There is a curiosity and a desire to learn more about you on a deeper level, especially if this is a new connection. They may appreciate your down-to-earth nature, your practicality and what you bring into the relationship. Just keep in mind that this person may be a little slow, but uh, slow isn't necessarily bad as it often shows potential for something long-lasting. The strong days of Monday to Wednesday align well with themes of learning, practicality, making them ideal for educational pursuits and practical endeavors. 
For Libra, we had the King of Wands and now it's the Empress. In the previous week, you might have embodied the qualities of the King of Wands, which include leadership, ambition, and a very dynamic approach to life. It could have been a period of taking charge, pursuing your goals, or you had to deal with a person who either embodies those qualities or they are a fire sign or ascendant. The Empress now represents a week of growth, love, abundance in your everyday life, so it's a time when you will experience a sense of nurturing and uh, see the fruits of your efforts blossom. Matters related to pregnancy, motherhood or creating endeavors could be prominent this week. The Empress is often associated with Taurus, suggesting stability and sensuality and also all, all those things that make us feel good. Uh, just uh, be careful not to overindulge. But it's also associated with uh, people who have Taurus qualities, uh, the Taurus sign or a Taurus ascendant. In your career, this week there will be growth and abundance. You may get uh, some extra money, a bonus or some money that was uh, owed to you. Also, your, your leadership qualities, as embodied by the King of Wands, can help you create a nurturing and productive work environment, especially if you hold a position of great responsibility. But the Empress is equally strong, so this week you may take on a new responsibility or a leadership role, which for some of you would translate to a promotion. It's a favorable time for uh, creative projects and seeing your career goals come to fruition. In your love life, the energy of the Empress brings a very positive vibe to your romantic relationships. The Empress is a love card anyway. If you are in a relationship, this will be a time of deepening emotional, emotional connections and probably discussions related to family, future plans or even a baby. For singles, it may signify the potential for a loving and nurturing partnership with someone who is very protective, very loving. Uh, when it comes to someone's feelings, the Empress suggests that they see you as a source of love abundance, there is a strong sense of connection and a desire to build a loving and secure future with you. Your stability and your sensuality may be particularly attractive to them and generally they are very receptive to your aura. The strong days of this week are Wednesday and Friday, associated with Mercury and Venus respectively, and those days hold a significant energetic influence. They align well with uh, the Empress's themes of growth, love and abundance, making them ideal for nurturing relationships and developing projects and ideas. For Scorpio, we had the Three of Swords and now it's the Six of Swords, two air cards. In the previous week, you may have confronted emotional pain, heartache, separation, or a sense of sorrow as symbolized by the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords can also be some old wounds that have not healed yet. It might have been a challenging period, marked by feelings of loss or betrayal. The Six of Swords represents a positive shift though and a journey towards emotional healing in your everyday life. It suggests that you will be able to distance yourself from the troubles and emotional pains of the past. While the issue may not be completely resolved, you are moving toward calmer water. The Six of Swords is associated with Mercury in Aquarius, highlighting effective communication and innovative solutions. Mercury and Aquarius can be a little detached, but um, that's needed as it seems. Expect positive changes and the potential for travel or a change of scenery, which can be particularly beneficial if you are in a long-distance relationship, uh, meaning this week you may uh, make some plans to meet up with your partner. In your career, there will be a sense of calm and strategic thinking. You've gained insights from the challenges of the past, there are some lessons learned, and can now apply them to find solutions and make progress. 
Consider new approaches, new methods for achieving your career goals as the energy of the Six of Swords is often about thinking outside the box. This card does show improvement, so if there have been arguments or disagreements, this week it's possible you will manage to find common ground. In matters of the heart, the Six of Swords uh, signifies a period of healing, emotional recovery in your romantic relationships. If you have experienced uh, difficulties or heartbreak, this week brings a sense of moving forward with a lighter heart. For couples, it's a good time to leave past issues behind, forgive, forget, and focus on building a stronger bond. In long-distance relationships, you may find opportunities for reunions or plans to bridge the physical gap. If you want to know how someone feels, they see you as a source of comfort and healing in their life. They feel connected to you, although they, there might be a sense of distance. Uh, however, communication will improve and there's a sense of optimism about the future of the relationship. They may be looking forward to a smoother journey, meaning if there have been disagreements or strong fights between you, they want to make peace. Strong, the strong days of this week are Tuesday and Saturday. These days align well with themes of healing, effective communication and positive progress, making them ideal for important conversations and travel plans. For Sagittarius, we had the Two of Wands and now it's the Seven of Pentacles. In the previous week, you may have experienced a sense of ambition, decision-making and planning for the future. It could have been a time of exploring new possibilities and setting your sights on long-term goals, but uh, maybe there was also some uncertainty, some hesitation. The Seven of Pentacles suggests a slowdown, a period of patience, reflection and assessment. You may find yourself evaluating the results of your past efforts and considering whether they align with your long-term goals. The Seven of Pentacles is associated astrologically with Saturn in Taurus, emphasizing slow but steady progress and a need for diligence, for control, because those are the themes of, Saturn's, of Saturn. It's a time to carefully nurture your endeavors, even if the outcomes seem uncertain at this stage. In your career this week, you will probably take a step back and assess your professional path. You may have been working diligently towards your goals, but it's essential to ensure that your efforts align with your long-term aspirations. Consider whether adjustments or refinements are needed to achieve the results you desire, as there might be delays and the outcome may not be very clear. In matters of the heart, the Seven of Pentacles suggests a period of slow-growing feelings and patience in your romantic relationships. So if you're in a relationship, this might be a time to assess the progress of your connection and determine whether it's moving in a direction that aligns with your long-term vision. For singles, this card advises taking a, pa a patient approach to love, allowing relationships to develop organically, so don't uh, pressure things, don't rush things, stay patient and let things uh, flow naturally. If you want to know how someone feels, they see the relationship as a long-term investment. There may be a sense of uh, wanting to see how the relationship develops over time before rushing into any decisions, which means that their pace could be much slower than yours and this connection may test your patience. The strong days of this week are Saturday and Sunday and uh, these days are ideal for assessing your progress and considering your long-term goals. For Capricorn, we had the Justice and now it's the Six of Wands. In the previous week, you may have experienced a strong sense of balance, fairness 
and a focus on making just decisions, as symbolized by the Justice card. It might have been a period of evaluating situations objectively, or someone even apologized for something they did. The Six of Wands represents a week of victory and positive interactions in your everyday life. It suggests that you are likely to experience success and recognition in some area of your life. People will be drawn to your positive energy and you may find yourself in win-win situations. The Six of Wands is associated with Jupiter in Leo, highlighting expansive and celebratory energies. In your career, uh, the Six of Wands indicates uh, significant success, recognition in your professional life. Maybe the decisions you made uh, the previous week, uh, as represented by the Justice, may lead to positive outcomes and achievements. Your work is likely to be recognized and celebrated in some way, and you will find opportunities for advancement. In matters of the heart, the Six of Wands indicates a week of attraction, shared success in your romantic relationships. So if you are in a relationship, this could be a time of mutual support, success, positive energy, positive outcomes. For singles, it may indicate that you are drawing positive attention and uh, you may have the opportunity to connect with someone special, someone who's very charming, outgoing, and probably a fire sign. If you want to know how someone feels about you, their strong attraction, sexual desire, and uh, they see you as a source of positivity and uh, good energy, good vibe in their life. They admire your achievements, maybe, and they are very drawn to your magnetic energy. The strong days of this week are Thursday and Saturday, and uh, these days align well with the Six of Wands uh, themes of victory, celebration, positive interactions, making them ideal for achievements and connecting with other people. For Aquarius, we had the world and now it's the magician. In the previous week, you may have felt a sense of completion, fulfillment, and achievement of a major goal as symbolized by the world card. It might have been a time of uh, celebrating your accomplishments or for some of you planning a trip. The magician shows that this week will be busy in terms of communication and it will be a period of utilizing your skills and taking action. You will feel that you have the power and the tools to manifest your desires and create the reality that you want. However, the magician also suggests the need to be aware of individuals who may appear and disappear, or someone who ghosted you maybe, or have hidden agendas. A near sign individual, possibly Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, may play a significant role in this dynamic because the magician is associated with air. In your career, you will tap into your skills, you will take decisive action and you will achieve a professional goal. Your communication abilities will be heightened, making it an excellent week for negotiations and presentations. However, again, be cautious of those who may have hidden motives in the workplace. In your love life, the magician signifies a period of effective communication, uh, taking action if you need to get something done. You will express your desires, you will make things happen. If you are in a relationship, use your skills to strengthen the connection, again communication. If you are single, this is an excellent time to meet new people, but stay vigilant for individuals who are not honest. If you want to know how someone feels, they feel very attracted to you and they see you as someone with impressive skills and a good communicator. They may admire your ability to take action, make things happen in their relationship, to take initiative. However, there, is also, there also could be a sense of caution, cautiousness as they want to ensure that your intentions are sincere. The beginning of the week, especially Monday and Tuesday, holds significant energetic influence for you 
as these days align well with the magician's themes of utilizing your skills, action, making them ideal for important tasks and communication. For Pisces, we had the Seven of Swords and now it's the Eight of Cups. In the previous week, you may have encountered a situation where you needed to be very cautious or strategic or even a little sneaky to navigate challenges as symbolized by the Seven of Swords. It could have been a time of careful planning and this week you will hear a calling and decide to embark on a journey of emotional growth and change in your life. So you may find yourself walking away from situations or relationships that no longer serve your higher purpose. The Eight of Cups is associated with Saturn in Pisces, in your zodiac sign that is, signifying a transformative and introspective time. It's a period of uh, listening to your inner guidance and seeking a deeper and more meaningful path, which will be an easy thing to do for you, Pisces, because you are connected very strongly with your subconscious and your inner feelings, more than other signs. In your career, this card encourages you to listen to your inner calling again and consider whether your current professional path aligns with your true aspirations and whether something has changed. You may have second thoughts about your career this week. Some of you will feel it is time to make a change or seek a more emotionally fulfilling career. Trust your intuition and embrace transformation. In matters of the heart, the Eight of Cups suggests a week of seeking, seeking deeper emotional connections you may be reevaluating what you truly desire and love and may choose to walk away from connections that no longer align with your heart's calling. It's time of emotional growth and seeking more meaningful partnerships. If you want to know how someone feels, they feel they need to take some distance as there's a need for change. It appears that this person is on a journey of self-discovery, personal growth, which means that things in their life may be quite unstable at the moment and that will be affecting your connection too. The end of the week, specifically Saturday and Sunday, are ideal for embracing transformation and listening to your inner guidance. So these were the weekly tarot horoscopes for the week of September 18 to September 24. I hope you enjoyed them, I hope you found them useful and I will see you again next week. Bye for now.